uh, there are no red tape anymore. You bring the ideas and we'll support them and we have done so in this. So I wish my guy as well. I know most of you, we are waiting for Chan next year. As you know, 2018 Chan is here in Feb next year. I know there are a few stories about some issues, but we'll get there. So I, I, I want to see you guys playing now. AFCON 2019 is also in the radar. We want to be there. And the road to 2022, I've seen Nondi here. I want to see him playing in the World Cup in 2022. And those are aspirations. So thank you so much, Ronald. We have done many things as a federation. I think the year has begun again, 2017. There's a lot of things. Coaching is going on. 2,000 coaches trained last year. This year we're training another 600 on, on C license and B license. Now we have the football on the pitch. As you know, we have agreed the Kenya Premier League this season will be 18 teams. And that's closed and finished. So more teams, more players to enjoy the game. Hopefully more money coming in. And with guys like Sport Pesa, we, we, you don't know. Maybe we'll be sending them all the bills. And they'll pay. So thank you so much, Ronald, and the guys. Thank you so much, Federation, Robert, and the guys that support KPL for the support. To do this for the boys, to show up there and do stuff. And coach, uh, make sure you beat those guys so that they can take our players to England and bring some pounds down here. We need the money. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Our timing, actually, is beaten the record. Four minutes, 21 seconds. That was the speech. Thank you, President. Well, we get to the part that uh, we've all been waiting for. This list, only the coaches have, and two other people other than me, 18, they are here. So, my director, I'll be speaking about the players a little bit before you put up the clip on the screen, and I'll get straight into it. I'll start with the goalkeepers. This is a goalkeeper that shows you what hard work is all about. Was at AFC Leopards, moved out of AFC Leopards, played against AFC Leopards. The fans were not happy with him, but he's proved that he can be the best that we have in this country. Golden Gloves for 2016, Patrick Matasi. <laughs> Matasi has been consistent, 15 clean sheets for last season. Plays for Poster Rangers. Congratulations, Matasi. <laughs> Well, before I unveil the next um, uh, player who is a goalkeeper, we have what we call the anthem for this journey that we have. It's a song that has been composed specifically for this event. Buona Director, if you can hear that song for quite just a little bit, then we continue with the unveiling. Well, I hear, I hear it's called Kagwe, composer of that song. We'll hear more of it as we move along. It will be playing under. You can listen to it. Next player is also a goalkeeper. This is one player that was the reason why his team was ranked among the best in the Kenyan Premier League. He's been a journeyman as well. Played at um, uh, Thika United, that's where I first saw him. Out of school into Thika United where he's developed very well. Then went into Sofa Parker and finally he landed at Tasca FC. David Okelo, goalkeeper number two. In the last eight games of the season, six clean sheets of the last eight games. That's quite a remarkable fit. And in voting for the MVP for last season, he actually missed it by one point. Welcome, David. I move on, on to the defenders now. And the next player forms a partnership with one of the meanest defenses in the Kenyan Premier League. The defense considered the least number of goals. So the question was, was the goalkeeper that good or is the defense that good to shield the goalkeeper? From Gormaya, Harun Shakava. Yeah. 
Third season in Gor Mahia, rock solid partnership with Musa. Welcome. We move on. Next defender. I first saw him in 2009 playing for Copa. And his team from Nairobi won. And actually, the team was under Stanley Okumbi. And the conversation we had with this young man was that at one point, he told me, it will not take me six years. I'm going to be one of the best defenders in this country, and I hope to captain the Harambe Stars at one point. His dream is coming true. He's made the All-Stars team. Robinson Kamura, formerly of Madara United, now with AFC Leopards. Kamura. He's been a captain in all the teams that he's played for, actually. And I hope AFC Leopards will see the leadership qualities in this man. Next player is a defender as well. Not so many of us know him. And I'll confess that the first time I saw him was three years ago, playing in Tanzania. And that was at the Sekafa tournament. But he was not playing for a Kenyan team. He was playing for a team from Sudan. And Gormaya would do not like this man because his throwings really messed them up. Even last season, when they were playing against Gormaya, Gormaya leading 2-1, last throw of the dice. He literally threw the ball flying almost into the net. Two touches, equalizer, 2-2. Wesley Onguso, Western Steamer. Looks tiny, but those hands are very powerful. What he can throw. Only Aguanda can challenge him on those ones. Next one, I don't know if I'll call this player a defender or a midfielder or a utility player. All the places where he's played, he's been a utility. The coaches don't really know where to play him, but I think he's best played as a defensive midfielder. Those are my thoughts. He can play with both feet. Not very quick, but very intelligent on the pitch. Evergreen, Osborne Monday. So many people thought that last se two seasons ago, they said he should have retired, but look at him now, making the final 18. <laughs> well, if there is a description of a player with tenacity, a player that you'll notice on the pitch, even before the, ball, the game starts, don't be deceived by his size. From Nakuru, not so many people notice him, but you'll see him when he's not on the pitch. Cliff Kasuti, Ulinzi Stars. Next online. He looks like um, uh, the coaches always say, and I'd like Okumbi to tell me when he comes on stage, whether he considers him an offensive or a defensive midfielder or a defender for that matter. He's listed as a midfielder. He's been a journeyman as well. First we saw him at uh, City Stars in Kawangware. Disappeared a little bit. Went into South Africa for trials. Came back. Landed at Bandari. David Kingatwa. <laughs> Slim but with a lethal left foot. Ask Okelo. He knows him very well. We move on. He comes from a team that is known to identify talent from the very young stages. It's one of the teams that if we emulate what they do in Kenya, I think our football will really grow. I don't know what scouting system they use, but Preza, I hope we can tap into what they do. Thika United, when they drafted him, so many people say this cannot be a defender. But guess what? He's a rock solid person who has actually saved Thika United from going into relegation. Oruchum Christopher, Chris.
Let me show you how it go, just like that. Yeah, it's a go. Check one. We are back. The next player, sometime last season, we spoke about this on Simba Soccer, and he's the first one who called me after the show. And was really mad, and guess what? It's because I called him veteran on the show. <laughs> and he says, veteran are those who are almost retiring. I'm not about to retire. I still have got many years to play, and I'm going to prove it to you. And the proof was that in 2016, we had a pact that if they don't win the league, then I can call him all the names that I want. I call him my Shemeji, James Situma, Tasca FC. It's another player who's been a captain all through. Sofa Parker came up with the team from uh, the lower division, FC Leopards, then into Tasca FC. He's still showing what he can do. Karibu Stuma. Well, when he was drafted by FC Leopards, so many people did not understand why they went for this player. And despite the hard times at FC Leopards, he still showed what he can do. Young player with a lot of venom when it comes to his style of play. Harun Yaka, midfielder from AFC Leopards. Karibu. <laughs> Next one to come on stage after Harun Yaka is a guy who grew up from my estate, where I grew up when I was in high school and uh, playing on the same pitch and showing guys what we can do. I still believe Ziwani produces the best players in Nairobi. You can argue with me, you can say Jericho and all that places, but everybody who goes to play in Jeri, I'm a Ziwa. From Ziwani, formerly of uh, Sofa Parker, now at Tasca FC, Humphrey Mieno. Are we counting? How many have we done so far? Ten. Somebody in Nazawa, Ten, eleven? Bado, bado, bado. When James Young was coaching Gor Mahia, and after a long time, Gor Mahia went back into playing continental football, Sianga assembled a team. And so many of the Gor Mahia faithful were not convinced that this team can do wonders. Well, the team went and won what we now call the FKF Cup. And in the first round, they met a team from Rwanda, and this was APR. And guess what? APR gave Gormaya 5-0 at Nyan National Stadium. The architect of that 5-0 was a player who went back to play for Gormaya, and they gave him the nickname Dube, Moses Odiambo. <laughs> now with Sofa Parker. Let's move, let's move, guys. Let's move. Last year, the, the most promising young player from the Kenyan Premier League was one man called Eric Oma Marcelo. Now, when Marcelo was leaving Kakamega High School, there was another star that was being born, was joining Form 1. And at Form 3 and at 16, year old, at 16 years, he has shown what it means to control a midfield, both for his school and now for Sony Sugar. Joshua Otieno, the youngest player of the team. <laughs> and coaches, as you go, please make sure he studies. Make sure he carries his books, because it's at that stage that he needs to study a lot. Well, the next striker... I don't know, I've gotten into the strikers now. I don't know how to describe this player. But in every team that he has gone to, literally every team that he has played for, they've won a trophy. It doesn't matter if he's played for six months, one year, or otherwise. He has won a trophy in all those teams. When he formed a partnership with one man called Paul Were. Paul Were was called Werason because of the dancing when they scored the goals. This other player also got a name from Central Africa, from DRC actually, and it's the fans who gave him that name. 
from Tasca FC, Alan Wanga, also known as Wanga Musica. Na DJ, to prove my point, ukimaliza umwekeli ngala moja uone what he can do, eh? Next player, this one was discovered at Nairobi City Stars. Then he moved from Nairobi City Stars and formed his base in Nakuru. One player of the year, player of the month, I beg your pardon, once in the year 2015. And in 2016, when he asked him, what are you aiming for? He said, I'm either going with the Golden Boots or the MVP. He went with the Golden Boot. For 2016, John Mark Makwata from Ulinzi Stars. Final two, final two players. This one plays for Poster Rangers. And when he was at uh, Ushuru, is when the big teams noticed him. But nobody really wanted to go for him until Poster Rangers came calling. And right now I can tell you, all the big clubs in Kenya, and I'm talking about Tasca, Gormaya, AFC Leopards, want to sign this player. Geoffrey Kataka, Poster Rangers. Last but not least, in our Kenyan system, and uh, Mr. President will bear me witness, we don't have a very strong youth system that we can rely on and we say this is what is channeling out the next generation of Kenyan stars. Well, club licensing is going to fix that and President Mwendo has said in the next five years we'll see club licensing work and those underage teams, the age group teams from these clubs will be able to produce the next stars. This player started off at his youth team and two training sessions that the coach from the senior team watched, he was drafted into the senior team. A player with a big heart, a player who does not fear facing any opponent. And the club he plays for has very demanding fans. Last but not least from Gorma here, Amos Nondi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are the KPL, the sport place are all stars, the 18 that will be doing duty for Kenya when they play Hull City next month, at the end of next month. These are the 18. Thank you, coaches, for a wonderful job. I don't think I'm surprised by any of the players who are here. Maybe, maybe I am surprised by the names that are not there, but I'm sure if we had more spaces, then we'll have more players being called. This are the Sport Pesa All-Stars. The man who composed that song is here with us. Kagwe. I hear it's called Kagwe. Where is he? These are the guys you composed the song to. Just congratulate them and wish them well as they go. And also the search for the mascot for the Sport Pesa All-Stars will be starting soon. So watch all the social media pages for Sport Pesa. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and all that. The competition will be on soon. The search for the mascot for Sport Pesa All-Stars. Uh, hi guys, how are you doing? 
My name is Kage Mungai, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be standing here on this stage with legends as it is. And I uh, just wanted to say that, you know, it's a fantastic thing that, <coughs> excuse me, that Sport Pesa and Hal is doing together to really bring out and nurture the, the Kenyan talent that we have here and show it to the world. And it's about time that music and the sports get recognized on that kind of level. And uh, definitely, definitely. So as, as they support us in our music, we will continue to support them in the football and with other things as well. But today we want to celebrate these guys. These guys are the real stars here today. So again, Makofi guys. Thanks, Kagwe. Well, I'd like to invite on stage Sport Pesa CEO, Captain, and uh, Presda from FKF to unveil the jersey that will be used by the All Stars in the match against Hull City. James Tuman, please join them in unveiling the, the jersey. guys this jersey if you look at it have you ever seen this design before have you seen this design before and I'll ask the members of the press the guys who cover the Harambe stars have we seen this design before let me see if your memory is that good in terms of what we've used as the national team we have? When? Which year? Today, yeah? Well, I'll tell you the story of this design in a short while. This team will be led by team manager Neville Pudo. Neville Pudo, please come on stage. And also our first coach for the national team, our first coach for the national team, Stanley Okumbi, will also be accompanying this team when they go to City. Well, I'll give you the story of this design. I'm sure Umbro, when they saw that there's a contract for the national team, we have had this design before, almost something similar to this. And this shows the consistency in which we should have. Their memory is quite good. Go back into your archives, 2003, 2004, we had a similar, almost, jersey. Only the flag was not there. But this one has the flag, right? I'd like to invite James Stuma to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the coaches and the players. Stuma. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I don't have much to say. Mine is just to give a vote of thanks to the captain for making this initiative. It is so overwhelming. It's, the players are so happy. You are doing a very wonderful job. And we pray for you, and we believe that you'll continue partnering with our, our federation to make sure that football in this country is growing. We, we, we give a vote of thanks to the federation. They are doing also a very wonderful job. We are, seeing, we are seeing our national team now performing very well, and we know that going forward we have, we have so many things that, that are good for the, for the players. The federation believes in uh, young players. We have so many structures coming up training the coaches and we are very sure that we are heading the, the right direction. We are happy for the coaches from Hull. The first week we had uh, coach, we had, we had coach Terry and coach Dean 
and for the second week we had uh, coach Daniel and coach Richard they, are, they have been so good to us they have been giving us a very wonderful training we have been learning every single day new things and some things we always do in our clubs but I believe uh, life is a learning process and we will continue learning uh, as we travel to the UK we believe we have a very good character here quality to go and compete and we believe we'll have a very wonderful result for the players maybe who have haven't made to the squad we are all good we believe we are still together we pray for one another as we go forward thank you thank you very much players before you leave remember what want to ask coach kumbia kiongea atuambie nini tofauti imefanyika kwa hii training yote coaches captain uh, president fkf ceo kpl media of course uh, i salute you all the trainers uh, from al city i think it has been a very intensive training for the past uh, two weeks it has been okay players have enjoyed uh, re uh, really your training then uh, i believe that uh, you have equipped uh, the players with massive knowledge that the, they will use it in future of course starting uh, with the match against uh, al city not only that of course they'll come back and to implement it in our kenyan Pre uh, premier league not forgetting of course our national team maybe in march of course you're having a, a fixture and i believe that uh, for sure i'm going to use uh, most of the players that you have uh, uh, selected not forgetting uh, the players that have been dropped of course uh, it's normal when uh, we have maybe 20 players and we need only 18 players. It's normal that uh, we must drop maybe two. And uh, I believe that it has, been, uh, it has been fair enough for the players that have been dropped. But uh, I believe that the partnership is still going, uh, going on with the sport person and Hull City. Of course, the Federation have uh, committed themselves that they will support you. And I believe that uh, if it goes on, the players that have been dropped, they'll get another chance. Thank you so much. Well, I'd like to invite all the coaches from Hull City for a photo session with the team that will be going. Tuwane wachizaji vile mnajipanga sasa. Tuwafunze vile situ wafanyagi Kenya. Ausio. Coaches, please. Come on stage. <laughs>